One Edmond vendor might be out of luck if the city of Edmond moves forward with a new ordinance for permits. He's one of many in Edmond who set up pumpkin and Christmas tree lots to sell trees and pumpkins for the holidays, but he soon might have to choose between one or the other. News Force Tanner DeLeon joins us with more on the decision. Tanner. Well, Tanner Justice says he loves what he does and doesn't want to be forced to stop. So he is trying to find a solution that works best for both him and the city. What I'm here for is seeking a permanent solution regarding the permit requirements that would possibly end this 30-plus uh, year tradition that's been going on for the citizens of Edmond. A tradition going back generations. The keys to the stand being passed down to him five years ago could all go away with one swing of the gavel. So in this new form, we would only be able to get one 30-day permit throughout the entire season, which would cut pumpkins in half and eliminate Christmas trees altogether or allow for maybe Christmas trees but eliminate pumpkins altogether. The possibility of a new ordinance toward permits for the owners of these stands. We have we've been having some conversations about uh, bringing him uh, the, the business into compliance or um, uh, changing the code to uh, meet his business's requirements. Without knowing, Tanner Justice has been operating outside of the current ordinance, being allowed to use multiple permits within six months. So basically no more than two permits a year, but they have to be six months. The, the prior interpretation, we could put two permits back to back with the prior six months and the after six months. Not using a permit in the first six months of the year, he carried it over using two in the second six months. So unfortunately, um, his model of business as far as the frequency of use um, is not necessarily covered under the current language. He adds that Tanner will still be able to finish out this year with how he has been running things and any changes made to the ordinance won't affect anyone until next year, but he's hoping for a positive outcome. We have talked with city council and I have had the privilege of meeting with the mayor and some other people and I look forward to having a positive outcome from this. Corey says Edmond City Council will continue to have discussions about a solution that can benefit both parties. There's no timeline on when a decision will be made, but he says they will reach a conclusion before the end of summer next year.